A number of things have sort of developed in dermatology over the last uh, year, year and a half that have been very exciting that relate to what we do here at our laboratory. For malignant melanoma, which we diagnose many of those here each and every day, um, is that there are actually new drugs now that can treat melanoma, and that's something that we have not had at all for many, many years. One thing that we're doing is sending these uh, tumors off to ensure that that marker is present. If it is, and the people are eligible for treatment of this very new, exciting drug. We make the diagnosis of the basal cell, and then once that's made, then if it's one of these terrible cancers that can't really be treated with surgery or even radiation, um, then they will be eligible for this new drug. We play a vital role here in making diagnoses of, of skin disease, but we interface a lot with dermatologists and, and, and non-dermatologists too, plastic surgeons, general surgeons, in recommending treatment options, not just medical treatment like drugs, but also uh, surgical treatments and, and even other new, relevant new treatments, one of which is, uh, is now radiation therapy that's being reintroduced back to dermatology. Um, there's a fairly new device that's uh, just recently been developed that's a small x-ray device that dermatologists can use in their own office uh, and actually treat skin cancers. Years ago that used to be the number one way that skin cancers were treated. Um, now most of them treated with surgery but there are some patients in select cases that are good candidates for radiation and uh, we can look under the microscope and tell the doctor whether that cancer is going to be a candidate for radiation if they're not really a good surgical candidate. Labs like this one play a vital role in determining the diagnosis of these types of cancers, not only melanoma, but basal cell carcinoma, many other things. Uh, and we're now interfacing with labs that do genetic testing and then getting more personalized medicine where you get a diagnosis, uh, you see what the cancer's genotype is, and then you can decide whether there could be a, a therapy that can be tailored to that individual person. So this is an exciting new development that we're gonna see happening more and more um, in medicine.